What's up guys, today we're going to be doing my top 5 best smartphones with a headphone jack. We're going to be looking at mostly flagship and mid-range uh, phones here. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started here. Your number one pick uh, for me personally is the LG V60 because it also has the Hi-Fi Quad DAC. So you can get very high quality audio with this phone. And if you have a good pair of headphones, uh, they sound, they're going to sound amazing if you turn that uh, quad deck on. And also, this phone has amazing stereo speakers as well. Extremely loud, very good, high quality. Uh, the rest of the phone is awesome as well. You can also get the dual uh, screen case add-on. And uh, you can pick up the refurbished version I have for around 400 bucks, Or you can get the new version, I believe, for like 600 or something like that. Uh, I'll put those links down below. But it's got a premium design, aluminum frame glass back it's IP68 dust and water resistant as well you also have a massive 6.8 inch P OLED display it's HDR 10 plus 1080p 395 for the PPI it's a really nice looking display uh, very colorful you get really nice deep blacks on here always on display as well and you also have Android 10 with the Snapdragon 865 uh, and you also have the Adreno 650. This is a very powerful phone when it comes to gaming and stuff like that. Uh, so whatever you want to play, Call of Duty, Fortnite, you can play pretty much on max settings, no problem. And this phone will just blow right through pretty much anything. Uh, so this phone also has micro SD support, 128 gigs of internal storage and 8 gigs of RAM. The V60 also has NFC on board as well for your mobile payments. And you also have a pretty decently fast fingerprint scanner under the glass. It's not the fastest, but it definitely works. Uh, my only thing with this phone is that uh, there's no face unlock, but the fingerprint scanner, it does work uh, fine. So the V60 actually has some pretty good cameras. It's got a triple camera setup, 64 megapixel standard, 13 megapixel ultra wide with a 0.3 uh, depth sensor. You get 8K video as well as a 10 megapixel selfie as you can see from the photos very highly detailed it gives off some really good natural looking colors completely you know the opposite of you know samsung's image processing if you uh by comparison but i like the pictures on the v60 i think they look great the front facing cameras also are really nicely detailed as well it gives off some good shots and there's also a really good manual mode on the v60 so i've never really felt the need to download any additional software on this phone like gcam or anything like that because it really is a pretty good camera and that is also for video as well it takes pretty good video uh too uh so the v60 has amazing amazing battery life but it does depend if you're on 5G. I've never used a phone on 5G because of the area I've lived in. But you got a 5,000 milliamp battery with wireless charging. And man, this phone really does last at least two days uh, for me. And if you're a heavy user, this is an all-day phone still. So you just get excellent uh, battery life. I've got some people saying they get at least around 10 to 12 hours of screen on time. So if you're a light user, this is a phone that is just going to be crazy on battery life. Next is the Pixel 4a 5G. You can find this phone for around $450. i will put that link down below. And I really like this phone if you want a phone with a headphone jack with just an excellent, excellent camera. I'm super impressed with the camera on this phone. Uh, but the phone itself, it does not have really a flashy design at all. It's, you know, a plastic phone. Uh, but it doesn't feel super cheap. It has a nice weight to it. It's a matte finish. So uh, I like the design even though it's not, you know, super flashy or anything like that. Uh, but you do have a 6.2 inch OLED display on here. It's 1080p 413 for the PPI. I was really happy when I saw the display on here because Google has been infamous for having outdated looking designs on their pixel phones uh, so i was really happy that this phone looks super modern with the punch hole and stuff like that so the benefit with pixel phones is that you get the latest version of android as soon as it comes out you're getting updates super fast so the phone's going to come with android 11 when 12 comes out you'll be one of the first to get it so that is one of the benefits uh, to this and android stock android is just super clean and simple as well you got the snapdragon 765g and the adreno 620 uh, overall performance on this phone is excellent i was able to do gaming now you're not going to be able to like max stuff out like on an a65 and stuff like that uh, but this phone can definitely do uh you know high to medium uh tier gaming for sure so no issues with performance and stuff like that this phone unfortunately does not have any micro sd support but you do get 128 gigs of internal storage and six gigs of ram on here and like i said you have the headphone jack and some really great sounding stereo speakers on here as well 
very good full sounding speakers with uh, bass, mids, and highs, no distortion. I really like these speakers on Pixel phones. You also get NFC on board as well as the fingerprint scanner uh, is on the back. It's physical. It works fine uh, as well. Uh, and the highlight with this phone is obviously the cameras. You're getting a really amazing camera at this price point. Pretty much like, you know, flagship quality camera on here. It's a 12.2 megapixel standard, 60 megapixel ultra wide. Do I think it's like on par with like the Pixel 5? and like a Galaxy S21, it's like a, sl a slight step below. I think images are a little bit softer, but it's still a great camera. Uh, as you can see from the photos, pretty decent video as well. A great selfie camera. Uh, overall, just a really nice camera when it comes to detail, depth of field. The ultra wide is awesome. Now, this phone has been pretty good on battery life. It's got a 3,885 milliamp battery, uh, fast charging at 18 watts, no wireless charging, of course, but uh, battery life definitely was all day for me I can get around seven hours of screen on time with mines and again that will vary if you're on 5g or not so the pixel 4a is an awesome device next is the galaxy s10e I absolutely love this phone because it is a more sort of compact buy uh, with a headphone jack so it's got one of the smallest screens on this list at 5.8 inches which I think makes it unique and what's great about it is it's come down in the refurbished slash used marketplace to around 300 bucks uh, which is awesome so this is really a beast of a phone you got a premium design it's aluminum frame glass back IP68 dust and water resistant it's got a beautiful dynamic AMOLED display HDR10 and like I said more of a compact screen you got the little punch hole on the right hand side 1080p 438 for the PPI I had no issues with the screen I thought it looked great super colorful uh, vibrant colors deep blacks it's a really good display and you also have the latest version of Android on here Android 11 with One UI 3.0 uh, you should get the Snapdragon 855 model if you're in the U.S. with the Adreno 640. Otherwise, you'll get the Xenos model. But this is still a great phone for gaming and stuff like that. I have a full gaming test if you guys want to check that out. It can play pretty much any game on high settings, uh, no problem. So I had no issues with gaming on the S10e. It does get a little bit warm, but overall, it's not really a big deal. Uh, but you do get micro SD support and 128 gigs of internal storage and 6 gigs of RAM, which is awesome. And like I said, this phone has the headphone jack and amazing sounding stereo speakers uh, as well. Really good bass, mids and highs. A very nice uh, set of speakers that they put on here as well for such a small you know phone now you do have NFC so it's got pretty much everything like a flagship phone would have uh, and one of my favorite things the fingerprint scanner is built into the power button on the side that is 100% the best place uh, to put it and it's just really fast way of getting into your phone uh, so the cameras on the S10e are excellent uh, as well uh, you have pretty much uh, kind of like flagship cameras um, you do have a 12 megapixel standard 16 megapixel ultra wide 4k video 10 megapixel selfie 4k video as well and the pictures as you can see look great super vibrant in color you get that classic samsung sort of over contrasty look uh, but great detail a uh, great depth of field the ultra wide is great as well the selfie camera is excellent uh, it's just a great uh, camera and you also have really good video on this phone as well so I really love the S10e the only gripe with this phone I guess would be the battery life battery life isn't it's okay uh, you can definitely get through a day but you're gonna have to charge it. it's got a 3100 milliamp battery which is kind of small uh, but it's 15 watts and you actually get fast charging or uh, wireless charging and reverse wireless charging so if I want to charge another device with this phone I will be able to do that as well so this is just an awesome device uh, to consider picking up next is the LG G8 so you can get the G8 or the V50 they're pretty much the same phone minus the camera and the size uh, but I will put those links down below but uh, the G8 is a really nice phone. I like this one a little bit more in the V50 just because of the size. Uh, I just like smaller phones sometimes. But uh, this is an awesome, you know, flagship quality phone. You have a, an aluminum frame, uh, a glass back on here. It's IP68 dust and water resistant. You have a beautiful P OLED display with the highest one of the highest resolutions on this list at 1440p 564 for the ppi absolutely beautiful and super sharp display 
uh, just being able to watch content in 1440p is awesome on this phone. Uh, so you do have Android 10 and this should get Android 11 and you also have the Snapdragon 855 and Adreno 640. Again, this can be a gaming phone if you want to do that. It's very powerful. You can play pretty much anything in the Play Store. And you also have micro SD support, 128 gigs of internal storage and 6 gigs of RAM. This phone does have the 3.5 millimeter jack, of course, with the uh, quad deck as well. Well, so again for high quality audio listening this is going to be again an excellent option you also have nfc on here really good face id on this phone as well as a physical fingerprint scanner uh too and the g8 has really good cameras on here now i bounce back you know and forth between the um g cam application as well on here that you can download but it's got a dual camera setup 12 megapixel standard 16 megapixel ultra wide you also get 4K video and 8 megapixel selfie camera as well. As you can see from the shots, uh, really nice color accurate photos, very highly detailed photos. It does pretty good with white balance. Overall, just really like taking photos with the G8. I really like just the color uh, signs that LG does here. And you also have a really good menu mode too on this phone. And this phone has pretty good battery life, even with a 3,500 milliamp battery, 21 watt fast charging with wireless charging. Uh, I can easily get a Eight hours of screen on time on the G8 so this again is another awesome uh, phone. Last on the list is the Samsung Galaxy A71. This is another mid-ranger around the $400 price point and what I like about this phone is that it does not have a super premium design. Of course, it's just a plastic build, but it's got that really cool psychedelic shifting colors. And Samsung has really cool colors with this phone. Now you get the you know classic, beautiful, super AMOLED plus display on here, uh, which is gonna look really nice with the punch hole, pretty slim bezels on here as well as a 6.7 inch display. So it's a pretty big phone, uh, 1080p, 393 for the PPI. You also get, of course, the latest version of Android on here android 11 with the latest version of one ui the snapdragon 730 uh or uh you can get the 730g as well in the philippines uh so do note that but you have the adreno 618 and micro sd support 128 gigs of internal storage and six gigs of ram again this phone has the headphone jack but no stereo speakers which i thought was odd i wish they would have thrown that in there but this phone does have nfc the fingerprint scanner is under the display actually from what i've seen it has a uh, really good fast performance on uh, that you also have a quad camera setup and excellent cameras on the a71 from what i've seen 64 megapixel standard 12 megapixel ultra wide a 5 megapixel depth and macro sensor shoots in 4k with a 32 megapixel selfie camera uh, as well uh, so this phone also has a 4500 milliamp battery with 25 watt uh, fast charging so uh, this is again another phone it's like the a51 but just slightly better in terms of the specs uh, so what do you guys think be sure to let me know and i'll catch you guys in the next one